guys, it's me Sabrina Isabel. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Sabrina Isabel and welcome to my channel. So today's review will be on this new powder that I bought. I've been like seeing a lot of YouTubers have been using this powder and I want to do a test on my own because I love setting powders. This is the Beauty Bakery Better No Bitter Flower Setting Powder. So this is how the packaging looks like. But one thing I do have to say about this is when I ordered this in Sephora, um, they gave me the wrong gram. I will show you a picture right now over here. So I'm supposed to get this powder over here. It's supposed to be much bigger and it's supposed to be 21 grams. And they sent me 14 grams for this powder because when I got it, I was wondering why is the powder so small when on the website, they, you know, it looks a little bit more bigger like L'Oreal Mercier size of the setting powder. So I contacted them and they said that they will come and pick up the product and give me a replacement if it's not out of stock. I went back into Sephora's website and I saw that it's already sold out and I have to wait for the, the restock all over again to get this powder again. So I decided to not return the product but instead they were so kind enough to actually add points to my my Sephora card. So they added points to my Sephora uh, card and they were very, their response was really really fast and you know, they, they try to rectify the problem as fast as they could but the product sold out really, really quick. That's the reason why I didn't want to return it and wait for the restock because I really, really wanted to try this powder out. This is how the packaging looks like. It has a very beautiful gold cover right there. And what this powder does, for a natural looking baked beet, try our lightweight matte flower setting powder. Great for setting makeup or baking, of course. Very cute. Our flower powder can be applied two ways. We're using a brush, it lightly dust for entire face for a matte look. Or gently pressure with a makeup sponge to apply flower to your T-zone and absorb excess oil. And yes, I got the shade in yellow. So once you open it up, you got the seal and you have like this, this thing where you can actually close up and your powder doesn't actually leak out. That is really, really good. When I close it up, does the powder actually come out or leak in some way? Oh, it doesn't. So I took out the, I took out the seal and I'm just shaking it so much and it has a seal to it. So it doesn't actually mess up your cover. That I, I love setting powders that have this type of covers. I like brands that actually put in the time to actually do their setting powder and make sure it has a seal to it. So let's get right into the video and I'll show you guys how I actually set my face with this flower setting powder. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, that my face is already done. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use a wet beauty blender to set this side of my face and this side to set with the brush. I know some of you guys out there use a beauty blender to set your makeup and some of you use a brush. Beauty blender side, as I pour out the powder, I'm going to dab it just like that and dab it underneath my eyes to set it. And it really just melted into the skin guys. Wow, it just like melted into the skin. You can't even see it set. Wow, so amazing. On the other side, I'm going to use the brush. Just going to dip it in and uh, pat it underneath my eyes. Wow, you can't lip, you can't see the powder, guy. This is truly amazing. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to just use my big brush as normal and just do how normally I would set my face. This is actually really beautiful. So let me just go and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so my makeup is done. So I have bought another product from Sephora which I really like this color a lot. This is MAC. Matte lipstick and this is in the shade Wheel W H I R L Wheel. This is the beautiful shade right here. This is like my favorite nude shade. I just found my favorite nude shade. Just the right amount of nude and the right amount of a pinky undertone. Everything is done. Okay, so the next thing what I'm going to do is how are we supposed to know that this powder actually gives you a flashback? What I feel is if you take a photo with your normal 
handphones flash and you don't have any flashback any camera that you stand in front will not give you that flashback guys sometimes some cameras um, can pick up the powder without any flashback so right now I'm actually using the latest phone which is the S8 and it's a pretty good phone yes the pixels and everything is really really good so if this can pass my S8 handphone flash then it will pass any camera why I'm doing this is there's some of you are guys out there that cannot afford an extra digital camera like an extra Sony camera just for photo taking and you all actually rely on your handphones for a good photo that's the reason why I'm doing this test for you guys so one I will take from my handphones flash one I will take from my front camera and one will be taken from my Canon camera so you guys can see the difference of each photo so guys the first photo is taken from my S8 camera flash and as you can see there is no flash back the second picture is taken from my S8 front camera and the third picture is taken from my Canon camera with flash and the fourth photo will be the Canon camera without flash so I do recommend you guys to actually purchase this powder is because if you guys are into selfies or photography you guys will love this powder a lot I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like this video give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as Facebook as well I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys!